Oh, fuck you, man. No way. This is bad. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Where are you? I don't know. I saw. I know where you've come down, but it looked like the fucking roof, dude. Oh, damn. And, and I didn't, I swear to God, I didn't hear that hit the ground, I didn't bro. hear anything. I'm going to have a look. Oh. It just turned off in midair, like completely. Yeah, I saw you come, I thought, I thought you were diving. And I was like, no. okay, something happened. Like, My quad is on the roof. I've been having these random resets that happen usually when I bump into something and then it usually comes back. That time it was in midair while I was above a roof and it didn't come back. So the whole thing just turned off. So we've gone and flown up there and had a look and it is there stuck right in the corner. We could do a drone rescue, which means risking another quad. Or there's some more sneaky options. <laughs> so there's a security guard that comes around here twice a day-ish. We've been here before, we've chatted to him, it seems pretty cool. We reckon he might have the keys to this place. He can maybe uh, pop in for us and just uh, nip to the roof and go grab it. I think we should try the drone rescue. Yeah, Rather than the bribe bribe in the security guard? <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think you should go and suss it out before trying it. Well, I've had a look. I did just go up then and had a look. And it's upside down. So we can probably, it's like, it's tilted to one side. So I you think could we can get on under there, one easy. side. Right. I'm going to go and stick my quad in the middle, upside down. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do some, uh, let's do some dry, dry because, rest. Yeah. Yeah. There's only one way to know, isn't there? That's a really good idea. What the fuck, man? Is the stick still on this thing? Yeah, and you're actually doing, you're so much closer than you were. Kev, Kev can vouch me, that is way better. Yeah, no, 100%. It's got the loop. Whereas before it was just a bit of flappy string. But that was almost it, man. Let's say your idea here is to fucking get it up and get it over the wall and then to let it drop. That's all throttle. More or less. Is it up? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's in oh, fucking. <laughs> it's in the sky, mate. I can't control it, though. Okay, it just freaked out. Okay. This is probably going to be like the smartest thing we've ever done or the stupidest thing we've ever done. If it goes well, we get a quad back. If it goes badly, we lose two quads. That was about as close as I think I can get. Because I was probably... Can you, can you, can you like, can you try and hover into the corner going towards it the other way? And drop down? Like that, yeah. I don't know mate, that wall is just... Right, so you're dragging along the floor, it's dragging along the floor. That's where you want it. No. I don't think I can do that. The wall is too close, man. This is too risky. You caught a stick, mate. <laughs> Me, that's so hard. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't think that's... Because as soon as if this is dragging behind, it's like here and the wall is in my face. So you've got to lift so before to lift you can up. get there. Yeah. So does that need to be longer? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I suppose if it was longer, that would be better. Well, all this technology, and the best we can come up with is this. Woo! You think we'd have a better way than this? Security guy, security guy's here. Really? Yeah, let's fucking, before we go up. Should we just stop? Yeah, fucking right. All right. He's, uh, he's, he's quite on the roof. So he's trying to, we're trying to just rescue it. Right, this. basically one <laughs> of these now. landed on the roof and uh, my battery cut out. So what we're trying to do is do a little rescue operation. It wasn't much fun. All right, one, that's fine. But if you know a way to get in there, that would make this a lot easier. You don't, I can only get in there when the alarm triggers. Oh, okay. Can I trigger it? <laughs> you have to break something. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> because we, we don't keep keys. All keys are in the office. We only come when it's a Romeo, like into the alarm. Okay. 
try and get end. it out. Yeah. If not, then let me let me finish my cigarette. I might find a little thingy. So try your rescue mission. Yeah. If okay. it doesn't, then I'll grab it for you. It's gonna be fun to watch. Yeah, but as you know, if I shake, even shake that door, it's fucking lot of paperwork to do. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Well, we'll try the recipe first, man. Yeah, try. You, you should be all right. Well, we'll see. That security guy, freaking amazing. <laughs> he says everyone hates drones. Security guy's a lovely guy. What a dude. He's my favorite man right now. He basically said we can try our rescue mission and if we fail, he'll get it next week for us. Yeah? Okay. You see how the wall just gets in the way though? Okay, I've probably got one more and then I've got to change battery. Oh my god it No way yeah. <laughs> It's not on the roof anymore so that means it's somewhere else Was it like a big old flick? Because I didn't hear it hit the ground, that's the only thing. Yeah. So maybe it went in here. Yeah! <laughs> Victory! Oh so my god, what dude. What the fuck stopped it from flying? Don't know. It's still got the battery connected. Oh my god, we found it. I actually can't believe it. This weird collection of uh, lanyards and bungee cord actually saved my fucking. My full quad with a GoPro 7. That was perfect so it could come down as well. My god. Well, that was a crazy day's flying and I still can't believe I got my quad back off the roof. That is insane. Um, I did break my GoPro, which is uh, unfortunate, but because I have it, I can now insure it because uh, if you don't actually have it in your possession, then you can't claim any insurance. So the fact that I got it back means that I can insure the GoPro and the frame was fine and everything else was good. So yeah, result. I'm really happy with how that turned out in the end. So now we're gonna pick a winner for the prize that we picked in the last video, which was a uh, Runcam Micro Eagle Lumineer Edition and the props as well. So we'll do that, but I just wanna say I'm not gonna be picking a prize for the next giveaway because, as many of you might know, we've had a thousand subscribers, which is awesome. So I'm actually gonna release a video in a few days uh, about that, more of like an update of what's been going on and how we're gonna handle the sort of the big prize draws, which is my Tyrannus QX7, the first one that I got with all the mods, and the full build, the full five inch custom build. So those two things are gonna be up for grabs in a very short while. Right, so now let's pick someone from this wheel. I'm gonna do it as well. There's no cats in this one, sorry. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that was close. Daich Chow, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I murdered that. But he says, she healed fast. I assume he's talking about my, my girlfriend's broken ankle. And yeah, she has healed really fast. It turned out it was only a small fracture. But uh, yeah, thanks for everyone commenting, uh, get well soon and everything like that. That's really cool. Anyway, Dice Chow, that is uh, great news for you. The Runcam Micro Eagle and the propellers will be on their way to you. All you have to do is check in the description and there's one simple thing that you have to do to claim your prize. As for everyone else, uh, stay tuned for in a few days time, we're gonna be uh, talking about the 1000 sub prize draw and getting all your entries for that one. So you're not gonna wanna miss this. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Bye-bye. Um,